Welcome to Chemistry. Whether you're studying at Haywards Heath or Worthing College, uh, you would have already been aware of this subject uh, from uh, GCSEs. Uh, the A level, though, really develops your uh, practical and mathematical skills. And of course, if you enjoyed doing all the experiments, you're going to love A level chemistry. Um, everything you do is chemistry, whether you breathe, eat, or even finding the cure for COVID. Uh, matter is chemicals and therefore chemistry is the study of everything. Um, what other skills will I develop? Um, it continues your basic understanding of GCSE but develops your skills of research, problem solving, analytical but also uh, teamwork and communication. Um, it is for this reason that it has these clear transferable skills that it is highly regarded by universities and employers. This year we had students go on to study chemistry at university but also use it and the skills that they gained from chemistry to study medicine, pharmacology, um, veterinary and dentistry. Um, the three main areas of chemistry we study is physical, inorganic and organic chemistry. In physical chemistry, you'll continue your, develop your ideas of atoms and bonding, but you will meet new concepts like uh, thermodynamics and kinetics. In organic chemistry, you will continue to uh, develop your knowledge and understanding of the periodic table and the elements there, there are within it. Organic chemistry, you will study most of the uh, functional organic groups, and use this knowledge to apply with organic synthesis. For example, making your own aspirin. Uh, how are the lessons planned? Um, the lessons will be two two-hour lessons per week, and typically they will be one hour of theory and one hour where we transfer across to the labs. Um, you are required to do 12 uh, practicals, uh, but uh, we've been recently assessed by AQA and they were very impressed by the vast variety of extra experiments that we conducted at the college. Um, how will you be assessed? Well, you will be given a lab book to record the 12 required practicals, uh, but also all your experiments. You will be given a pass in the common practical assessment criteria, or CPAC for short, uh, and, uh, and you will record all your experiments there as evidence for this CPAC. You will do three exam papers at the end of the two-year course. The first exam paper is half the physical content and inorganic chemistry. The second paper is the other half of the physical content and the organic chemistry and uh, the final paper is on all content but mostly focusing on practical skills and uh, there will be 30 multiple choice questions. Well I hope uh, this uh, provides you with enough information and uh, I hope to see you uh, when you return to college to study chemistry at our outstanding college. Thank you.